Join me on an exhilarating journey as I dive into the dark and thrilling world of Deathbound in my full walkthrough video series. Dive deep into this immersive world filled with intense combat, intriguing storylines, and challenging enemies. As we explore the game mechanics, uncover hidden secrets, and unravel the mysterious backstory of our warrior protagonist. Whether you're a seasoned warrior or a newcomer in the grim fantasy world of Deathbound, this walkthrough will provide valuable insights and entertainment. Hit subscribe or click the link below and ring that bell for daily action-packed uploads. Death, give me strength. I've seen that creature before. It was cold and without breath. The empty shell of a man. Its very existence a mockery to my goddess. <laughs> Don't we mock your old missus as well, Crusader? <laughs> you understand nothing, foolish woman. This is but a test of faith. Well, well, well. Look over there. An essence lancer. Goddess! He was just a bloody kid! Wait, what's... what's this? Oh, oh, it's... it's, it's, it's like something's drawing me and won't bloody relent. Hmm. 
So you feel it as well? to your papa. Get away from me, please. No, papa, I cured him. I can play with him again, see? I missed him so much. one's Moses Sexualist history. It relates to the last days of the first civilization and the decline of the great cities. He contradicts Friar Sanchez's body of work. Can you believe it? He theorized that humankind must have lost their immortality overnight. Can you even imagine, sister? One minute, you're eternal. There are people in the world who have seen the dawn of time. Think of all the knowledge they must have gathered. And then it was all taken from them in the blink of an eye. Imagine the chaos. You little bookworm. You know, Father's really worried. The healer thinks this disease is connected to your abilities. I am so sorry, little brother, but it may not have a cure. If it were, Raise you the church. Then you're going to protect me, right, sis? I take care of you, and you keep teaching me that interesting stuff. Do you? My condition left me deformed and with blisters spreading over my skin, so father didn't want the other villagers to see me. I had only my books and my sister, Kian Luna's company. What is this, Father? You're sending me away? These men are here to take you to the Reparation Monastery. They're willing to do whatever is in their power to rid you of your condition. And what if they cannot, Father? What do you think they'll do? It is for your own good, son. You are not taking her, die. Kian Lun was badly hurt, but we managed to escape Klingazar. We traveled until we reached the kingdom of Krulisgon. is going to be fine. She has a remarkable will to live. Thank you. That's all right, boy. You're allowed to feel. What you did was very courageous, and nothing short of a miracle. That you managed to keep her alive all the way from Klingazar. Life herself must be working through you. It is Haudai, correct? Yes. Pleased to meet you, Haudai. I'm stolen. They were called the Essence Mancers as an affront by some who didn't approve the use of their powers, of our powers. We liked the name. We embraced it. 
Solon says we must be heading out soon. He says we have a very important purpose and must not waste our time. Is that so? And what purpose is that? Forgive me, sister, but I promise not to say anything about it. I'll send instructions on how to find us as soon as I can. Good. Because you better believe I'll find you, little brother. Remember our promise to each other? I still have much to learn. And apparently you soon will have much to teach. Oh, Kian, I'll miss you so much. Hush now. This is no goodbye. I'll see you again soon. I hope you can forgive Father one day. Kian Lun went back to Klingazar. As for me, my home was no longer there. Mine became the free city of Akratia, where the glorious first civilization once rose, and where it fell. When it was... Remarkable, son. If you keep on training with Aetalos, perhaps you'll become an even better reanimator. And you must keep seeking the knowledge of the First Civilization. For that, you can count on a learner, the expert on all things regarding the First Ones. The essence on this one remains corrupted. Indeed. I believe it's the recipient that's the problem. We got the best we could out of our flesh dolls. Time to step up. I'm proud of you, son. Together, we'll accomplish the unthinkable. Together, we'll bring back the gift of immortality. The Essence Mansers became my family, and Solon like the father I never had. One who accepted me for who I was. My head... Hear me now, Splitting. Essence You will tell me how to break this curse! What? Who are you? How are you doing this? Brilliant. Of all the bloody mangers around here, it seems we stumbled upon a clueless pop. Wait! Who? Welcome to the party, kid.
I appreciate you coming, Haldai. Oh, spare me. I'm only here out of respect for all that you've taught me. There's only one thing I wish to hear. Have you changed your mind? Haldai, I... I... Then there's nothing more for us to say. I'm afraid so. I'm so sorry. What are you... Ah! She tried to kill me. Halurna? No, that can't be right. It makes absolutely no sense. Kid, <laughs> she didn't try. She bloody well succeeded. Why would she do this to me? Why? You know nothing, do you, boy? You're just a foolish child messing with forces way beyond your ken. You're dead. You just haven't accepted her gift yet. And I've been cursed to bear your essence. The two of you. Parasitic scum, tarnishing my being like disease-ridden ticks. Alurna knew I would always side with Solon. She must be planning to take over. Damn it! I must warn my master before it is too late!
As you said, woman, it's clear that the Essence Mancers are behind this. I'll find one who can end my torment. Even if I have to slaughter every last cultist in this accursed city. What? No! Are you insane? What you're saying is monstrous. If we want some bloody answers, I reckon we should go straight after the head of the snake. Their leader, Solon. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. He's the cleverest and wisest man I've ever known. He'll certainly be able to aid us. Your views are skewed, child. But I, Solon, that name haunts me still. Mates aren't him as well. I say we follow the corpse trail. I understand you have not found the Essence Monsters yet. No, my lord. They are a scheming, cowardly lot, but they shall not hide for long. Do I have to remind you what's at stake here, Sir Gilliam? 
what the Essence Monsters are hoping to achieve? No, my lord. I too have been sickened by the accounts of their villainy. Did I err by trusting you with this task, Sir Galoman? Not at all, sire. Even now my men are searching house to house for these sinners. We will know of their whereabouts within the hour. See to it that you do, and Thoreau, bring every item you find with them directly to me. It is our sacred duty to bring her justice upon the infidels. Monstrous. I'll tell you, John, something's off about this whole campaign. Goddess, Lucius. Don't talk like you're no shite about warfare. I recognize these men. Let me approach them. S sir Therone, praise be. We've heard reports that you were missing in action, sir. I gather the Lord Commander is still searching for the Mage's leadership, is he not? Indeed he is, sir. It had seemed the heretics have been spotted retreating to that hulking round fortress of the First Men, sir, east of our position. But those bastards are crafty, sir, and have blocked most paths leading to it. Our scouts are even now searching for alternative routes, sir. They have the work cut out for them. They still seek the Essence Monster's whereabouts. This is fortunate for us. Blimey! You don't even flinch at the sight of it, do you, Crusader? A rabid dog is better served cleansed by fire than left to infect innocent, pious folk. The only rabid dogs are you and your Deathian friends. How blind can you be? Oh, spare me, Essence Boy. Your lot ain't no bloody Saint Louisa either. All those freaks we had to put down because of your special mission. We cleanse the impurity with the holy fire, while you create mindless beasts and... Oh, just fucking... Let's keep moving. God has helped me. I can only take so much bullshit for a day.
holy shite. Now, that's something you don't see every day. Goddess. Gosh, I wonder who are the warriors that killed so many of them. Just one warrior, kid. And that's our artist over there. I'm Comrade Yulia Chevlaskia, faithful of Our Lady Death, member of the Cult of Life, militant of the Eighth of Zorim movement for the liberation of all the Emenau. Death, Lady of Men, Lady of the True Faith and of the True Path of those who breathe, dearest, give me my strength prayer. to continue on thy path. And forgive us those who stray. Not all who wish to live are thine enemies, and not all who bring death in thy name are thy true servants. And if thou wilt protect it, my comrades, though they do not follow thy path, for they are true at heart. By the breath, by the floor, by the bees. The essence monsters are wrapping up. They feel the last of the wounded. Ha, ah, I genuinely thought they wouldn't fulfill their end of the bargain. <laughs> Come on, you think she doesn't mind you ended up fighting against their own soldiers? <laughs> Lady Death sees our hearts, not these symbols on our banners, my friend. There's more. They found him. The essence monsters say they lured them here to Okratia. We are setting up a trap. I need to be there. Comrade. I don't think you should go. <laughs> Butchered my family. Your place is in the field. 
People will die if you don't come. Your comrades, the captives are trying to rescue you. It was you who argued for this raid in the first place. Please, Yulia, the movement needs you. I don't remember the faces, Ahadib. My mother, my nephew. But I can still smell their burning flesh. I've never backed down from a fight. A lifetime ago, before joining the Eighth of Zarim, I hunted when my village grew hungry, and... But, my lord, the people are starving! That is no excuse, and you know that, Huntress. We all have our doors and obligations! How can the people fulfill their obligations and need to plague? How will raising taxes help when people are too weak to even rule? Raising their arms against the elite is treason and should be punished accordingly. I order you, as your Lord Commander, to bring me their heads. I move on with them. I'll get the traitor's head. But the price of some battles is Please. too steep. Please stay. They had nothing to do with it. Do you pieces of rebellion get accept death? Please, part of my son. Yes, yes, we accept. Please, have Please. mercy. Please, we are faithful. We accept death. when you challenge the might of Krulas God! Please! Please! They, they had nothing to do with it! Do you pieces of rebellion shit? That one step slaughtered my entire world and was cruel enough to deny me my lady's final relief. I vowed that if the day would come that I escaped my torment, one way or another, Did you give that fixed water days. yesterday? Nah, we think it was on the day before that. Fine, let's not let Agaros's new pet die. Oh. Save your strength, Yulia. I am Brunner of the Eighth of Zarim Movement, and I've come for you. You mistake me for one of your heathens. Bruno, this one prefers to wait for a Dothian savior. We've heard of what you did for the people, Yulia. The binds that tie those like us are stronger than faith. On that day, I was not only given my life back, but found new meaning and purpose. Soon after, I fully pledged myself to the Eighth of Zarim movement. But the truth was, my family deserved deliverance. I would not, I could not, forsake my revenge. Do you accept death? Yeah, mock my faith. Rest your essence in the embrace of our <laughs> lady. Fellow Deathian, eh? Say it up. 
did you know you're fighting on the wrong side? You don't remember me, do you, Agaros of Miriva? Sorry, don't keep track of all the cunts I hunt. All of this because you missed my cock, then? You murdered my family! And now you're going to pay for it. Killed by a cock-sucking combatant. Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh, but we haven't even started. My lady, protect my comrades. Anger has taken me down a different path, and I don't know if I can come back. You count yourself as a true devout of death, yet collude with her enemies. You are worse than an infidel. Who? Take it easy, sister. It takes a bit to sort out our little condition. You'll be fine in a jiffy. Our condition? Please, miss, just calm your thoughts. It will all become much clearer. I promise. Is, is this a punishment for my sins? Yes! No! Don't listen to him. We don't know exactly why this is happening to us. That's why we must find Solon. He's our only hope. That two-faced hypocrite? If he is involved in why I got cheated out of my ordained death, I'll pierce his green heart. Good to hear! But you'll have to get in line, sister.
Shush, my son. It will all be well soon. That voice.
Caesar. Word on the street is you're the essence master's last volunteer. How's that been treating you? You're damn right I gave them some of my essence. I volunteer every now and then, and would do so even if they hadn't cured me daughter. Not just any essence monster, mind you. Solon himself saved her. Gave away some of his own essence to cure me little girl. Asked for nothing in return. Day now. <laughs> People in Akratia, they've forgotten what it's like out there. I give the essence monsters years of my own life. In exchange, they give us all hope. A reason to live. I don't know, old man. Eternity in this damn world feels to me like eternal torment. Yeah, then ye missed the point. To bring back the age of eternity is to end the reign of the Church of Death. I'd drink to that. My son, it will all be well soon. That voice... Raffaele? Ugh! 
That is the Rim Ball. We believe the first man built it as a fighting arena. But now the Eighth of the Rim has claimed it as its headquarters. So the Essence Monsters plan to barricade themselves. Cowards. No. 